Well, if you look at your watches, we're exactly on time. So uh, thank you to the speakers. Uh, thank you to those of you who've stuck throughout all of this, and I think in recognition of that, uh, John Bartlett will come mow your yard uh, upon request <laughs> anytime. Uh, before we announce the, the winners of the, uh, uh, the oral pre best oral presentation and, and best poster presentation, again, we, we, uh, we kind of always play this down or don't even recognize these people, but we're not dealing with an administrative task force that puts this together. We're dealing with two people, and I, I think uh, we want to recognize the, the, uh, the valiant efforts of Mary Orris and Kelly Plunk. Uh, Kelly was responsible for putting the, uh, uh, this booklet together uh, and assembling everything and, and uh, doing a lot of other and sundry things. And Mary, uh, uh, again, uh, the barrage of emails and and uh, and things that were going both ways. Uh, uh, again, we we can't thank you enough. So, Mary and Kelly, is Kelly here? Okay. Although uh, all of the posters and oral presentations have been outstanding, I think they get better in in, in quality each year. Uh, uh, we've had this habit of recognizing the best uh, poster presentation and then recognizing the oral presenters and, and trying to single someone out among them. Uh, we've had, 20, as you all know, we had 25 uh, uh, abstracts submitted uh, uh, for posters and uh, uh, we had a, an anonymous judging panel who were diligent in, in trying to engage all the, uh, the poster presenters uh, during the poster session and uh, they have come up with a winner for the best uh, poster presentation, and it's Ashley Trauma. Ashley? Congratulations. Congratulations. We had, uh, as you know, three oral presenters, so if we could have uh, Ginny uh, Fuda, uh, Linda Skalski, if she's still here, and, and uh, Karen McFadden, can you come up front? Again, according to the same anonymous uh, judging panel, this was even more difficult. Uh, three outstanding uh, uh, presentations. So uh, I'd like to recognize uh, first Ginny. Congratulations. And Karen. And the panel decided that the best, the most outstanding oral presentation goes to Linda. Very good, congratulations to all of you. Okay, again, I wanna close this. I know everybody's getting anxious to get out of here and get back to your labs and, and start doing hypothesis-driven research. Uh, again, I, I can't emphasize enough that we need your help, we need feedback from you. Uh, we hope to see many of you at next week's uh, Chalk Talk, uh, run by Colleen and Sally and, and Ginny. Uh, but Stay tuned for uh, updates on the website as it's being developed. And uh, again, thank you for all of your participation. Thanks uh, especially to those who answered that questionnaire that seemed to be uh, ungodly at times, but it was, it's really been valuable and it's really pointed us, I think, in a, in a direction that's gonna make us more efficient as we get into the next year of, of funding. So keep your eyes out for two RFAs, an RFA October, around October 1st, uh, for small grants, that's a non-targeted RFA. And then the RFA that, uh, that Mary Clatman mentioned, and I, I alluded to uh, briefly this morning, that we, uh, the joint RFA uh, between CIFAR and the School of Medicine, uh, the Department of Medicine, uh, targeted towards HIV cure research and HIV and aging. We expect that to be staggered by a month, so come out in November for funding, hopefully early in uh, 2014. And I know for a fact that the cure research has expanded since the last time we offered this, and hopefully also the uh, HIV and aging research has expanded in the CIFAR. So again, look for those. We will send those out as soon as uh, we have everything vetted and, and we're ready to go and, and get those reviewed as quickly as possible. So again, thank you all for coming today, for participating, and we look forward to your future uh, engagement and participation in CIFAR. Thank you.